Section 1. Line and Bar Graphs A line graph consists of a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. The vertical axis lies vertically on the graph, while the horizontal axis lies horizontally. This line graph demonstrates the direction of the coordinates. This is the lowest coordinate and this is the highest coordinate. As you can see, the coordinates are going up gradually. This graph shows the coordinates decreasing steadily. Identify the direction of movement in this graph. The initial coordinates are increasing sharply. Then they reach a peak at the highest point. Then they decrease dramatically. And the final few coordinates go down slowly. Bar graphs too display periods of time and data on the horizontal and vertical axis. Here is the horizontal axis. And this is the vertical axis. Line and bar graphs show trends going up or down over a period of time in combination with related data. Periods of time are usually set on the horizontal axis. Data measuring upward and downward trends is usually set on the vertical axis. Trends are of four kinds. Upward movement, downward movement, no change, change in direction. Make sure you always use appropriate verbs, nouns, and adverbs to describe the direction of the movement that qualifies its main characteristic. Here are some verbs describing upward trends. To raise, to increase, to rise, to go up or be up, to grow, and finally to boom, soar, or climb. Here are some nouns to describe upward trends. An increase, a raise or rise, a progression, and a jump. Verbs to describe downward trends. To decrease, to reduce, to fall off, fall, fell, fallen, to drop off, to go down, or to decline. Some nouns to describe downward trends. A decrease, a plunge, a drop, and a decline. Here are some verbs, nouns, and phrases indicating a steady trend. To remain stable. To stay constant. To stabilize. Here is a chart of adverbs and adjectives describing movement. Some examples, dramatically, vastly, significantly, considerably, a lot, substantially, a little, slightly, rapidly, quickly, swiftly, gradually, gently, little by little. What questions to answer? Section 2. Pie Charts Pie charts show the size of different parts as the percentage of a whole. 
As we can see by the following pie chart on China's makeup of GDP based on sector, 43.6% is related to service, 46.8% is related to industry, and 9.6% is related to agriculture. In total, this equals 100%. How to interpret percentages Examples of percentages and how to interpret them 43.6% is almost a half or just under a half Compared to 46.8% can be interpreted as about the same proportion 9% is a negligible proportion Always use synonyms of percentage like proportion, fraction, part or section Some recommendations. Do not describe everything you see. Use a range that identifies the lowest, the medium, and highest values. Identify the sharpest changes. And use the appropriate verbs, nouns, and phrases. Section 3. Flow charts and maps. Flow charts are drawings describing physical and immaterial arrangements and situations like networks, cycles of progress and or regress, distribution and fluctuation processes. A flow chart equals input through processing stages resulting in output. Under the form of tree diagrams describing organizations, arrangements interconnecting abstract or concrete situations. Please use this tree diagram as an example. And in this diagram, we see the interconnecting of stages of the UK educational process. Also consider this map. When describing a map, 1. Identify a site with regard to the main site shown on the map. 2. Mention the position of both sides with regard to a third site. Three. Relate each site to points of interest, i.e. streets, post office, bank, factory, highways, railway, river, dam, sea, airport, etc. 4. Use words like location, place, and surroundings. 5. For close-by places, use words and phrases like proximity, vicinity, a walking distance, and nearby region. 6. To mention far distant or inaccessible places, use words and phrases like remote, considerable distance, a great distance, far apart, miles away, and outback.